Hello everyone, this is Tatiana from Journal Time with Tea. Welcome to my channel if you're new here, and welcome back if you're returning. It's great to have you all. Just want to wish everyone a Happy New Year before we get started. I know it's, you know, a little bit into the New Year already, but I hope everyone had a safe and happy New Year and a happy holiday season. Um, as you can tell from the title of the video, today I'm going to be showing you how I have set up my new week size planner. Um, I'm sure most of you are probably not surprised that I've already switched sizes um, into, you know, right at the beginning of 2023. Um, for the past month and a half, maybe two months, I think, I have been in a passport size traveler's company notebook. And I, y'all, it was a really hard decision to switch out of the passport. It has been the perfect size to carry around with me. It has been working so well. Besides the fact that it's just tiny enough where I'm starting to run out of space in my weeklies. And this year I want to track a little bit on my pages and I just don't have the space. So like you can see like here for this week, I pretty much ran out of space here because of things that I either didn't do or had to move. Um, I've almost run out of space here and it doesn't leave me much extra room for tracking. And I have to track it like on the day. Like I do have this extra square here that I could use for like tracking purposes. But honestly, if I don't write it out and put it on the day, it's it's just not going to get done. I'm not going to track it. That's just how I am. And I've come to accept that. Um, so I figured out kind of on accident that the passport size and the Hobonichi week size are pretty close to the same width. And then obviously the Hobonichi size is taller. So I figured I could still kind of get like the slimness of a passport, but it would give me that extra space to, um, with like, with the width wise or the lengthwise, excuse me. Um, it would give me that much more space lengthwise to have that extra space in my weeklies to be able to do what I want with it. So I'm going to kind of show you that now um not much has actually changed with my setup from how i had it set up in my um passport size but it has just been tweaked just a little bit um so before we go inside the notebook and take a look this cover right here is from etsy it's from a shop called idaho leather works and i believe this is called this green color is called ponderosa pines it is absolutely stunning i really 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 love this color green is like my favorite color and I don't know how well it's picking up on camera but there's so many different like beautiful like undertones to this it's just I saw the cover before I saw the planner let's just put it that way and that kind of inspired me to move into the Hope in HG Weeks size so the only downside is there's no um pen loop to it but that has been a problem so far all right let me see if you guys can still see. I apologize for the glare here. Um, so on the inside here on the left side, they have a secretarial pocket. Um, in it, I have the um, Hobonichi Weeks uh, writing board and then just some stickers that I like to use. In the back here, I, they have a like full size pocket here and I have tucked in a one of those Hobonichi Weeks like um, supplement notebooks I think they're called the really really thin ones that don't have very many pages to it I think they only have like 20 pages or something to it, it there's not a lot um, but I wanted to try um, doing a common book this year commonplace planner whatever it's called <laughs> um, <laughs> just keeping track of like random bits of information um, I actually kind of got the idea from uh, Megan Rhiannon I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. I'll try and link her channel down below. Um, I got the idea from her and I just loved what she was doing with it and I decided to try it out for myself and see how well it goes. Um, she has like a color coding scheme for her system so I kind of wanted to try that as well. You can see I have five different um, categories, miscellaneous, self-care items, quotes, video ideas for you know like YouTube and stuff and then like copy text which the copy text I kind of um, 
stole from her as an idea of just stuff that like if you read it from like an article or something like you just hand copy it down so you can have that information so you don't have to like print the article or anything which I thought was kind of cool but I've started it and so far I kind of really like it I can just I find myself pulling it out just to kind of play with it a little bit and write down random information and I don't know it just makes me really happy I'm really curious to see if I'm gonna keep up with this and what I'm gonna fill up with information like what information I'm gonna collect I'm really I'm really liking it so far um, this was initially supposed to go on the string here you can see that there's a, a string which is part of the reason why I really wanted this cover but with the clear cover on the planner it doesn't fit in this back pocket so I decided to switch places with these two books I'm not sure how I feel about that yet because they kind of like I don't know it just kind of made me a little sad that it couldn't fit in there um there we go but you know we'll see how it works out before I decide to try and buy something else because I don't want to buy another cover if this one's going to end up working out in the end, you know? But anyway, <laughs> um, so this planner is the Freely Noted Planner from Planner Monkey Co. I love the simplicity of it. I love the, like, the gold. I think it's gold. It might be silver. It's silver. Um, the silver little flower leaf in the corner. Um, she's got her Planner Monkey Co. in the back. Uh, this cover I bought from Planner Monkey Co. It's in collaboration with Lauren Phelps Design, and um, so they came together from Planner Monkey Co. And since I got the cover, and I like keeping pictures in it, I didn't want to not use this cover and just slip this planner right back here like I originally intended. So that's why I decided to loop it in the um, string. And actually I have the string looped in, I don't know if you can tell, but I have the string looped in through the clear cover, so it's not damaging my book. It's damaging the clear cover, because I can always buy another clear cover if something happens to it, but if something happens to, like, my notebook, that goes my planner. You know, like, there goes my planner. <laughs> so, with this freely noted, it comes with... Where is it? I don't know how you could... Well, you can see. Let me see kind of see it. So it comes with 12 pages of undated monthly planners and then after the monthly planners are, I can't remember how many pages exactly, but the rest of the pages of the book are just blank grid. Blank grid. It's just grid paper. <laughs> um, so that way I still have my monthlies and I can still set up my weeklies however I want them to be set up which makes me really happy and now it's all in one book instead of where it's like my passport it was in the two separate books which was okay it was working out and it didn't really bother me but now that I have them all in one book oh like I'm just I'm so happy but anyway so the clear cover has comes with two pockets one at the top and one at the bottom um in the front here I keep a picture of our dog Loki, um, a little note that my husband wrote me and I laminated a while back, and then a picture of our four kitties. And then in the back, it comes with like a secretarial pocket here, which I've just got some um, stickers and um, I've got some post-it notes here too, because I use post-it notes a lot. Um, so there was a couple of page blank pages in the front and then it goes right into the monthlies. Um, I set up for January so far, I haven't done February, but I have even more space now in the monthlies than I did in the passport too, which I'm really liking, I'm really excited about. Um, and I like that I can set it up however I want, I can decorate it however I want. If I want to add like notes and stuff on the bottom, I can because there's still extra room. And the lines for the months really aren't that um, uh, bold, I guess. They're not that bold, they don't stick out very much, so I can pretty much do whatever I want with that extra space and it's not gonna matter. So, after, like I said, after the months starts just the blank um, grid notebook. And so I did a little cover page for January and then I went right into setting up my weeks. So 
this is what I mean when I say that like nothing has changed from my passport size into my week size except for the fact that the monthlies and the weeklies are now all in one book and it's a little bit bigger that's it that's literally all that has changed um but as you can see like I have so much extra space now versus my passport where I was you know essentially running out of space so I'm really happy so far that I have the extra space I can now start tracking what I wanted to track so I've been tracking my no spend for this year because I'm trying not to spend any money for at least two months I don't know how well I'll hold out but we'll see um, and then I'm gonna start tracking I have kind of already started tracking my workouts I got a treadmill for myself maybe a month ago a couple weeks ago and I've been trying to use that at home because especially it's been so cold here in New York um, not really ideal walking weather I don't really like walking outside anyway so I try and use the treadmill now and it's been working out really well and um, I have I'm in physical therapy again for my shoulder and so I've been tracking when I do my PT stretches because I'm supposed to do them every day but sometimes I am not the best at remembering so I'm gonna try and write it down on my planner so I can remember it but yeah I love having the extra space I don't feel so cramped anymore and it's not a lot it's not a lot of blank space to where it's gonna bother me but I have the room if I need it you know what I mean usually white space bothers me that's why I have been going kind of into smaller and smaller planners over the past like year or so and that's why I loved the passport size so much because there's not like any white space half the time but I think this is going to be the perfect mix of white space and having space to write down things so this is this is the current week um today is the seventh and then I set up for next week already and I'm just really having fun playing around with it I'm really enjoying this size this paper like I said I'm pretty sure it's the Tomoe River paper but it reminds me of like my Stalogies that I love so much which I'm actually using a Stalogy for my journal right now so I'm still in a Stalogy but like this just reminds me of one even more and I love it so yeah this is what I mean when I say nothing's changed it's literally the same but yeah I discovered I actually discovered I don't know if I mentioned this earlier I discovered the cover before I discovered the planner and that's what kind of prompted me to buy the planner I'm really happy I did um, oh and this is just my vision board that I did the other day for the year I thought it turned out really cool all of these little prints here I've actually printed off from my pulley printer that I got for Christmas from my sister I really like it maybe I'll do like a little um, review on it if you guys are interested because it's a really neat little uh, little printer oh my word <laughs> um, it's really neat and I'm really enjoying it and maybe I'll do like a little quick review on it in another video if you guys are interested in it but yeah so that is my week size setup in my freely noted planner from planner monkey co I like I said I am so excited with this already and I'm really hoping to stay in this for at least at least give me three and four months in this at least before I decide to switch to something else like I said earlier you all know me I'm notorious for planner hopping that's okay because I always say the planner works for you you don't work for the planner if something's not working in your current planner switch it up to something that will so if you've made it this far thank you for watching until the end um, it was great having you all I hope you enjoyed the video if you have any comments um, or comments or questions leave them down below I'm gonna try and link everything I can in the description box and yeah hope you enjoyed the video guys thanks for stopping by bye everyone